In this video, Jennifer and I do a thorough review of Boxable's Casita model, interior and exterior. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified of all of our upcoming videos that are coming out. I'm Dave Cooper. Enjoy. A state-of-the-art new way of building affordable housing right now is in the works. And it is a concept that could expand across the world, and it's all starting in North Las Vegas. It's a foldable home that comes in a box. Hey everybody, we are in Las Vegas, Nevada at Boxable and we are getting ready to do a review of a Boxable home that costs less than $50,000. Jen, what is behind us right here? So we are standing in front of a brand new casita from Boxable. It's amazing. It is amazing. And we're gonna go over every nook and cranny for you. What do you think, Jen? Should we check it out? Let's go check it out. All right, so Jennifer, we have just walked into the Casita model. What is your initial reaction? Okay, I don't know where to start. I mean, first of all, a dishwasher. Full dishwasher already in here. Look at this amazing double sink with this huge window that you know, imagine watching your kids play in the backyard right, or coming right. home from school. Yep. You have your microwave, your oven, and this humongous refrigerator. It is a humongous, this is a full size refrigerator that you would find in, in any house whatsoever that's out there. And then over here, you have this full sitting area, right? You got a couch, which is also can be a sofa bed. You also have to the right of me, a fireplace. Jennifer, what is so impressive about this house to you? Well, again, going back to space, right? Look at all the light that's in here. Look how tall these ceilings are. Yeah, nine right? and a half feet or something like that, they said. Right? I mean, these are tall ceilings, huge windows, glass doors. I mean, it's abundantly light in here. It is abundantly light in here. Let's talk a little bit about how this comes. This comes folded up on the back of a truck, on a back of a truck. Like and an accordion. Like an accordion and then it unfolds. If you look above the cabinets over here, I don't know if everybody can see this up here, right here, you can see a mate wall. Now this isn't finished, this is only, you know, because this is a show model, it's not finished yet. So that's where the folding arms are and these walls actually collapse and fold. Everything from where I'm standing back is 100% installed. You notice that there was a seam here on the countertop. Well that countertop is put in on site because this is the seam to where the unit actually unhinges and folds. And Jennifer, what about these cabinets? I mean, these are solid maple cabinets. They're beautiful cabinets. It's amazing. With they're, lights. They're what, 42 inch cabinets with storage on yeah. top. So lots of room for everything in here. Um, and Dave, take a look above you. What do we have up there? We have the Mitsubishi mini split. We do. So this house is heated, heated and cooled using a Mitsubishi mini split system. Uh, which is plenty for, for this space right here. This is the perfect setup for an ADU. The faucets that they're using, this is all really well-made stuff. The sink, like you mentioned earlier, is really well-made. You got the stove in here, which is a Whirlpool stainless steel stove. I'm moving in, Jen. Well, listen, this is designed to be an amazing accessory dwelling unit, or ADU, like Dave described. But there's something else here. This oh. is this is a tiny home. This isn't just an accessory dwelling unit. I could live very happily here. Yeah, I could I could live very happily here as well, or have a studio in this, or have my kids when they come back from college without jobs live in this. All right, well, so we are just looking at the kitchen, and there's so much more to this. We have the living space, the fireplace, and the bathroom. Why don't we check out the bathroom in this place? Because I think people will be really surprised on how glamorous and big it truly is. I couldn't agree more. And again, there's so much light in there. Let's take a look. It's tight space, Jen. Are you sure you want to be that close to me? Let's leave that for the next show. All right, let's go into the bathroom. Dave, what do you think about this bathroom? It's a bathroom made for a king. This is a big bathroom. I know you can't see this side, but we'll show some B-roll. But look at the size of this. Can you see me if I got in this shower? 
This is a big shower. This is not a tiny home trailer. Mo it's not like our home in the motorhome. Right. It's a it's a big shower. And and I mean, don't you love the glass doors with the barn door style? I do. I do. I think the glass doors are absolutely amazing. Again, solid quality. You know, I'm not really seeing anything, you know, yeah. of low quality throughout this whole entire house. And high design. You have a glass vessel sink. Right. You have a backlit mirror. Again, the natural light. Check out that beautiful window above the sink. It's amazing. A huge countertop to spread everything out. Enough cabinets to keep everything nice and neat so they're not sure. on top of that beautiful countertop. Right. With plenty of storage and a dual flush toilet for amazing. water saving. I love it. It really is. So what's amazing about it is not only we're in the bathroom, but we're almost in the bedroom as well. There's a washer and dryer here. Let's go check it out. Absolutely. We're in. Awesome. So I love where it. are we at, Jen? Talk to me about, we just left a magnificent bathroom. We did. And now... Together. We were in there together. But <laughs> Again, we're in an awesome bedroom space and love how this vanity here or this, you know, the cabinetry and the closet. There you go. That's one of your favorite features. Oh, and check that out. Do that again, Dave. It's like translucent to let in that light. That's a really nice touch and it's so quiet. It is quiet. There is no noise with that. And we'll get into some of the hinge system and stuff here again. But you're right, Jennifer, I didn't mean to interrupt. I, I got distracted by the door. Shocker, Dave got distracted. Carry on. So you have a really terrific wardrobe here, um, lots of storage space and a really great countertop on top, a nice display area and could even add more storage here if you needed to. A nice queen size bed yeah. fits in here. And Dave, check out this flooring. I love the design of this flooring and it the is. pattern and everything else. Yeah, you know, it's really going together, right? You got the whites and the grays and that's kind of been the in thing for a while. But in a small space, it really makes it feel, you know, much larger than it is. And I have to tell you, I mean, if you've been in a big, big hotel room, this feels bigger than that. Absolutely. I, again, I know I've said it before, but I could live here comfortably. These were designed to be accessory dwelling units and right. address housing affordability, but they did not compromise on style. Not, they, a bit. not on style and not on the product. You know, this is an honest review. We travel the country doing this. So, um, you know, one of the things is you got you got the dual washer and dryer here. Right. Oh. This is a big thing in the European markets and and it's all digital once again. Uh, and they got some laundry in there. Somebody might be doing their laundry. Uh, but again, this is where the units unfold, right? This wall is on, this wall here is on the inside of the house, here. right? And we'll, we'll show you some more of the hinge system that's here, but this hinge system, you can see how strong and, and solid that is. It's not, a, it's not a light system whatsoever. And these walls fold in like this, Jennifer, against this, you know, so. I'd be closed in the door like this here. How translucent is it? Hopefully not much if we're taking a shower, but it is beautiful. And that's heavy too. It is. You know, when I, when I look at a product like this, Jennifer, something that's changing the market, something that's coming in at an affordable price range, $50,000 is what they're looking at this casita to sell for. You don't expect the level of quality that they're giving you here or, or the thought and the care put into the design. It's a small space and it's hard to take a small space and make it functional. Well, let's talk about that because it is addressing housing affordability. We are in a place offering lots of high style. You have the black frame doors and yeah. windows and the nice white and gray touches. But let's talk about the durability of this. Let's talk about the construction of this. Let's talk about the energy efficiency yeah. here, right? And That's we're right. not just talking about heating and cooling, we're talking about how quiet it can be in a space like this. That's right. When you construct that tight building envelope. Well, for sure. I mean, it is constructed of, constructed of a very tight building envelope. The way the panels are put together, the way the insulation is involved. I mean, there's a lot of steel within this building as well. So from energy efficiency standpoint, it only takes that little mini split that we showed earlier to heat and cool this entire unit. And we're in a factory. Right. You don't hear much of the factory outside right. and we have big open spaces here and there's a lot of work happening on that end. And we did a video with the owners so you can check that out as well uh, if you really want to learn more about the energy efficiency, blower door test, HERS rating. But I can tell you, it's solid. Jen, jump up and down. I'm not going to jump up and down, but I what I will do is tell you about the thermal bridging because there is ah, none. Ah, building science. Thermal bridging. So for those of you out there that don't know what thermal bridging is, 
Thermal bridging basically means that the cold air cannot transfer into the house and the hot air can't transfer out of the house because you're not using wood or steel in between the walls. And it's the way that the composite material of the walls are put together that um, allow that to happen that way. So it's super, super important, especially when it comes to heating and cooling your home. Absolutely, and when you think about these units and how you know people are living in here, the first thing that you think about is safety, health, That's right. wellness, right? So when you think about um, wind zones, because these are these are going to make their way across the country they eventually, are. around the world. So when you think about the different wind zones that you're out that are out there, you think about the different building codes that are out there. What I am so inspired by in terms of Boxable and what they're doing is they're not looking at building codes right. in you know locations or in regions what they're doing is actually evaluating okay what level of code do we at boxable want to build to and they're essentially creating their own code right. to exceed any local regulations they did talk about creating their own code and doing it better not doing the code as it is they're building better than code and that's what they're trying to achieve in an affordable price point so Jen, on the inside, let's recap. So we have high design, recessed lights. We have high-end cabinetry. We got full-size stainless steel appliances and, and ovens and microwaves. We have forced air system and heating and cooling, which is through a mini split system. We got a sitting and desk area here, right? With a beautiful countertop. Absolutely. You have a full wardrobe. Right. Right? And, and you'll see inside of these wardrobes. And you got all the space on the top. You got a full couch and you got a full size bathroom in here. What did I miss anything? The high ceilings, the big windows, the glass doors, high the full size appliances in the kitchen. They really thought about all of those details that yeah, matter. They did, for sure. All right, so we talked about the inside of the house. Now we have to talk about the outside of the house and let's get into the construction. Let's go. All right. See you outside. So Jennifer, now we're outside. We kind of are outside. We're still in a manufacturing facility. This is a demo unit, so it's, it's not 100% complete yet. But what are you looking at here, Jennifer? So for starters, I just love all of the design details, the color combination, um, the window panes, right? Uninterrupted yeah. window panes. You can really let all that light in. No grills. And I love the board and batten detail because it's a really nice nod to yeah. the founder's roots when they were building volumetric modular homes in Connecticut. It, you're right. It really is a, a Connecticut, you know, New England feel when you look at it, but done in real high style modern, mm -hmm. uh, which one would expect here in Las Vegas, Nevada, California, in this region. So, and again, this is the finished wall material and it's the same material on the inside of the house. That's how durable these are. This is not weak stuff. It's solid right. stuff. Uh, and same with the uh, board and batten and all the finishes around the windows and what have you. Um, what we're also noticing, Jen, is we have this skirting going around, and we're going to talk about that a little bit. But remember, this is brought on a truck. I know. It's and amazing. unfolded. It's amazing. So when you think about this, Dave, and the fact that that exterior cladding is already on the outside of the home, two things are happening here. Number one, you're not looking for a local trade partner to That's apply right. the, the siding or the finish, the fiber cement, whatever you know, um, usually the homeowner might yeah. select. So number one, you eliminate that from the schedule and the timeline. And number two, when this does unfold, it's weather tight. It is. It is weather tight when it unfolds. Let's talk about the unfolding here a little bit. We have the hinge system here. I don't know if everybody can see that out here, but we showed a little bit about this on the inside. Look at the size. I mean, that's like my, it's got to be a 12 inch or, you know, 11 inch pin hinge system and that carries all the way through and this is part of that wall that collapses in front wall i believe folds down and then up over if i have it right but i might might not and then the roof itself is also hinged back on each other i don't know if we can show but we, you know if you look at the roof up there you have the folding hinges up there and then you have those big steel brackets that the crane grabs you know or whatever truck is to to bring it together so all of this happens in a day's time yeah it's amazing and that hinged technology isn't really anything new because we have shipped our homes yeah. you know with the hinged roofs and that's right and done the hinged, hinged trusses systems. and everything you're absolutely right. right but the application here is what is so innovative and really bringing the way that we build right. homes 
into the future. It is bringing it into the future. So, Jen, speaking of the future, let's 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 get back to the present here, and let's look at what this is all about. And this is the quality of the material. Now, this is a cut piece, right? This is where part of the module comes together. Mm -hmm. Look at the thickness of this piece here. I don't know if the if you out there can see that the way I'm seeing it, but this is not. I feel it, Jen. It's heavy. I Jen's know. gonna hold it now. Watch. <laughs> I know. Do it's, curls with it, Jen. No, well, let's see the let's see the guns, down. Jen. Oh my god. Let's see the guns. You know, and it also has some gaskets across the back, so when it lays against the the side wall here. But this is how they think. They're, this is not inexpensive material. This is not something you're typically going to see in, in a lower end home. This is stuff you see in higher end homes. And this is here obviously so we can show and, and do that. Yeah, and I mean one of the other things that we talked about earlier was the weatherproofing and the water resistance yeah. and you know fire resistance. All of these homes have been tested, both third party tested and all of those inspections That's have right. been done. Um, so what you're seeing here has has been fully engineered. That's right. It has passed all of the rigorous engineering tests that are required, it is. and it will meet your local building codes. It, it really will. It really will. All right, let's talk about the mechanicals. We Definitely. talked about the mini splits on the inside. Yeah. So what are we looking at here, Jennifer? Do you know what this is? So this is a very popular selection for many homeowners now, and it's all about bringing the homeowners into this, right? Because it's not just about building the home, it's about giving the clients choices and things that they're looking for. And tankless hot water heaters is probably high on the list right. of what people want. It is high on the list of what people want. I was just in the shower when we were inside the house. I didn't, I didn't turn it on, but yeah, tankless hot water heaters. Now, on this particular unit, it's on the outside of the building, but you see a lot of that in the west, the southwest, the midwest, where the climates are different. If sure. this home was going uh, to New England, Colorado, or a colder climate zone, uh, obviously they would have to put this inside somewhere. But look how streamlined these are, yeah. Dave. I mean, this is not that big water tank, um, you know, that you see in so many That's of right. those older homes. This is very slim, very streamlined, and very efficient. And remember, these are going on full foundation. So if this is a slab and it was outside, it'd be here, or it's gonna drop down into the basement, right. just like any other uh, hot water tank would go. All of this would drop into the basement to include the electrical panels here. But again, yeah. it's just showing for demonstration, but in a lot of warmer climates, you do see these on the exterior of the walls. Absolutely. All right, so then we have our sub panel here. We have all of our wiring. Uh, we have our feed here. This is going up into the mini split. So. No different than any other house. This is a 200 amp sub panel, it looks like. Right, so again, it's about bringing design and style and efficiency right. together. So everything is minimized in terms of size, but not in terms of power. That's right, it definitely is not. So with that said, Jennifer, I mean, the rest of the house really looks the same. I think we could pan over to the side here and take a look at that as well. But all of this is coming on a truck and set up in one day on your foundation on your lot. And I think this is pretty incredible. What do you think? Definitely innovative and definitely thinking outside the box. Literally outside or inside the box we are today. But high design and uh, top quality finally coming at an affordable price. I, I, I wish them much success. Absolutely. So Dave, we've been traveling across the country and we've seen a lot of things. Yeah. You know, a lot of different houses, a lot of different styles of construction, different methods of construction, different architectural styles. What do you think about the casita? I love the casita. In fact, I, I want one for a traveling studio as we're traveling this country. Uh, I think it's well designed. I think the culture here is amazing. Uh, the father and son relationship is by far uh, amazing to me, you know, and how they get along. The high design, uh, they're comfortable, uh, they're great for a studio. If you're listening, studio, but overall, I mean, if I were to give this a rating, one out of 10, I'd say it's definitely a nine, nine and a half. Wow, that's pretty high. It is pretty high because nobody's done this before and the quality of it's amazing. Yeah, no doubt. And I think for me, um, they are really taking into consideration the client experience, not just for, from living in a home like this, yeah. um, but from the minute they walk in the door here and decide to do business with Boxable. They're, they're going back to the very first step of the client journey. They're trying to really help people along the way, show them a really good time, share yeah. some of that fun that Paolo and Galliano have all the time. They do have some fun. A lot of fun. and. Um, 
wish them all the best in, in yeah. what's to come. Yeah, I do wish them all the best as well. I, I mean, as soon as they start rolling out and we see more and more in the field, uh, we'll have to come back and see if we can give them a full 10. That's where I'm at on this today. It's been a great journey. Definitely. See you next time, everybody. Bye now. Bye now.